Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got a new weapon currently picked in my character's hands here. This is referred to as the Bullpup Scout Rifle, but it's based off the Keltec M43 prototype. It's a prototype weapon that never actually existed. Um, but this has custom-made scratch-made models and textures, custom animations, 50 plus brand new attachments, um, level less injection, so you define it on a store or Brotherhood of Steel and Gunners. Um, after level 25, two uniques that we'll look into later on in the video. Um, bullpup rifles are kind of cool. They're unique and interesting. There's not a huge amount of them. So bullpup obviously means that the magazine is behind the receiver. Um, rather than in front of it, as far as I understand. Um, it's got kind of clean looking iron sights too, and the sound is actually really nice. It just hits hard. It's semi-auto currently. This is just like kind of the base default one I just bought off my weapon vendor here. By default, shoots the 5.56 ammunition. Um, this is pretty much standard across the board. Um, it does look kind of nice too. I like the, the wood texturing on it. It's got like a wooden foregrip on there or whatever, right? Wood furniture. We could obviously change that a little bit later. We'll see what we can do. Customization with the weapon. Um, we'll also look, check out look those uniques a little bit later on in the video. So for now, first and foremost, let's see what we can do customization wise with the weapon. So. Can we make it automatic? Absolutely. That's just choices off rip. Advanced receiver, 165 damage. Powerful automatic, 107. Let's we'll try the automatic. I just want to see if it retains the things. Long barrel, probably way to go. All right, full stock, light stock. So the stock and the foregrip are kind of connected together. It's like one big chunk. Um, typically marksman if you really want to go, but I think recoil compensating might be the way to go for something like that's automatic. Um, large magazine, medium quick eject. So you could do quick eject. Medium quick eject, but large is just going to be slower. So we'll show that off, I guess, is the thing. Put some glow sights on that for now. Um, we can make it suppressed as well. Flash hiders, compensators, recoil control, and all that stuff. Um, so the muzzle booster gives you an increase in fire rate. That's interesting. You could do green furniture, tan furniture, stealth furniture. Leave it at wood. But there are options are there. I'm never showing those off, though. Flashlight. That's a big fucking flashlight. Um, we'll take a look at that too, though, as we go through here. So we got a flashlight. It does work. That's cool. Glow sights are nice. They, they, they do be glowing, though. Oh, yeah, that fucking automatic. It sounds nice. That, that reload animation looks really crisp, too, though. You really pull that. Yeah, uh, yeah. It looks pretty crispy. I like that. I like the look of this a lot. Low recoil, actually, with that recoil compensating stock. We were muzzle boosted, too. I like having a muzzle attachment that does give you something other than just, like, oh, it reduces recoil, but it reduces recoil in a different way. Like, it's, it's, it's like it's muzzle brakes and compensators and stuff like that. Um, I think long barrel is the way to go. But you can obviously... So, I think if you went, like, advanced receiver, then you'd want to go, like, the marksman stock, and then you'd want to go with, like, a longer range sight. Um, I don't know what any of these are going to look like. We'd want to suppress it, probably. Um, you could do stealth furniture. It doesn't make the weapon more stealthy. If it did, it would be something, I guess. It does say improve stealth. I, I swear to God. <laughs> we have a recon laser here. Tracks targets. Um, and you also have that vast targeting module, which is probably the way that I would go. That's my personal thing. I don't care too much about the flashlight. There's my hollow sight. Still sounds good suppressed, too, though. This is supposed to be more stealthy, I guess. I mean, I don't know if that's actually true or not, right? Like, it's really hard to tr track. Like, there's no, like, stealth stat you can look up in the game. Fallout really needs to let you look at advanced stats. Like, just, like, have, like, a stats tab. Where you can see, like, this is your, you know, like, just put all the pieces together. Um, I want to see, like, the difference in the Quick Eject Magazine Reload. Um, for now, we're putting the wood furniture back on. I would go VATS targeting module always. I love VATS. Um... We have like a combat side here, so like a longer range scope. Advanced receiver still probably. The combat, like the vast and targeting module is green, so it matches like the green stuff. Low recoil still. I don't know if that's that much faster, you guys. It's 30 rounds. What, how much do we get with the large? Is it like 40? Maybe it's not worth doing it, you know. But I like the customization options, and I like that we commit to, if you want the biggest mag, you do not get... I like, okay, did that just did that just change that, right? So like, yeah, like it kind of changed the way the sides matter. Long scope, recon scope. We got a thermal scope here too. It's not gonna really work like a thermal scope, is it though? I mean, they, they kind of glow, right? Like, but not, it's not really. I don't, I've never seen a good um, thermal scope in Fallout 4. And they're, they're at best fine. But you have night vision, um, all that stuff. You could obviously make it recon just by having recon on there. Um, you have a recon scope as it is, so you could do the recon scope with the targeting module. Night vision scope if you want to see at nighttime. Long scope. I, let's go with short for now. Um, we did the combat sight, reflex sight in there kind of things, right? I think the large magazine is the way to go. 
just like don't reload unless you're safe. Like you're never gonna fifty rounds is bitch bigger than the thirty though, so I think that's definitely worth it. The reload's not that much fast. Obviously sword scope looks like a sword scope. Like it looks nice on the weapon, but it does when you look at it, it's the same kind of reticle as the base game. Short scope. I like that reload animation it is clean. I like this weapon. I think it's cool. I think we're gonna go obviously look for those legendary variants and stuff, um, and see what they're like. Um, I would take Vats enhancement, but I would probably like make it up in full auto. I mentioned this before, but I'm a lazy piece of shit that likes to just shoot the shit out of things, especially on this particular setup where I can have like infinite ammunition and all the things. I would still keep it. No, I would actually muzzle boost that bitch. Um, I would keep the wood furniture. I don't care about stealth at all. Vats targeting module just in case. Uh, let's see. Let's see. maybe the reflex sight is nice. I like a basic red dot sight. Recoil compensating stock. Improve bash and reload speed on this gunslinger stock. Better AP cost on this light stock. We could try the light stock because we're gonna maybe shoot it a lot in bats and see what we can do with that. 113 rate of fire is a lot. It's kind of a weird mishmash thing. I do like that sight. That's fine. It's a fine ass red dot sight. It's a lot of recoil though. though. I mean, especially with the lightweight, but that's fine. We'll just use the weapon and vats. Vats targeting module, all the things. I like that you actually hold the front grip. Now, obviously, you could do better things with recoil, but this is like my vats only. Because in, in you know, in vats, you have no recoil. There's no, that's not, a, that's not a thing. We'll see how well it works with vats. We'll see what that muzzle boosted fire rate works like in vats. And we'll go find some legendary variants, and I'll see you when we get there. I'm getting actually fucked to death right off rip. Um, I just spawned in here. Death call. I mean, that's just a good death call test, you guys. Are we chilling now? There's something else that was here. There's a glowing dust cloud. You guys are really getting fucked up. I mean, my VATS accuracy is insane. We get four bursts off in VATS. Apparently I'm missing them. I mean, it's a glowing dust cloud. It's kind of nasty, but it does work. I suppose that's Commonwealth Justice for you. So apparently, this first variant is between in a bunker between this summer real place and this is like the worst settlement in the game. It's like this is the stupidest motherfuckers made that shit. Um... But yeah, I expected, I mean, I guess the AP cost to be a little bit better. I mean, think about it, if we didn't have the lightweight on it, we'd only get three bursts. Like, the automatic thing is, like, not designed for VATS as it is kind of anywhere. We'll take a look at the variants. I don't know what this fucking bunker is, though. That, that must be it, right? That's the only thing I could think of that's a bunker between the two things. So, we'll go check this out real quick. I do like the weapon, though. It's firing sound. It's really nice. The animations are of a high quality. I'm not super sold in the way that I've customized the weapon. I think there's ways that it could be potentially better and stuff. Um, no way to open. I gotta, like, do this. I got I got a new mod on um, for opening locks, and it's not working. So I gotta figure that... I gotta actually manually do this shit. And if you haven't seen my Fallen New Vegas place, you can see that That's I'm it. not particularly good at it. It's gotta be in here, though, right? Sentinel... Take 15% less damage while standing and not moving. So this is like a long-range sniper version. It's got that marksman stock on there. It's only standard receiver, though. Um, the long barrel, long scope, compensator, tan furniture, no accessory. Um, you could make it better. I don't know what noise just popped up on me. Oh, the, the sentry bot. So if I stand still here, it should do more damage, at least. This is, like, kind of default and raw. Um, yeah, it worked just fine, though. Uh, the long scope is very long, right? I like the look of it, though. It does look like, like what a real-life long scope would look like. All right, so I'm going to customize this one just to a different degree, and then we'll go find the other legendary variant, and I'll see you when we get there. All right, everybody. So I've taken this Sentinel rifle. Um, we obviously have some nice weather here for this. Uh, it doesn't match the tan furniture. I left the tan furniture on there because it's got that accessory stuff. It's like a, the, the like brownish camo on there. Um, put a large mag on there, kept a long scope, suppressed it, because I think this is the sniper version, right? If you take less damage while standing and not moving, um, you're supposed to like hold a position and snipe. So advanced receiver, they'll maximize that single shot damage. Um, that's targeting module. Um, where you're supposed to head over here, it's supposed to be somewhere on an overpass overlooking Quincy Corey's. So like it even kind of fits, well, whatever the next variant is, kind of fits what we're trying to do with this one. Um, I do hear you, Maya Lurch, though. Fucking footsteps, man. You hear those motherfuckers right over here? Where are you? I can hear that. Like, my footsteps audio is doing weird shit. Like, my games... I had to redone all of my mods again recently, and then since then, my stuff's been kind of weird. I gotta fix it again and just mess with things. Like, I have to reestablish my loader. That's, like, the part of, like, covering mods that you guys don't... There's definitely, like, a mire. Like, it sounds like it's right here, right? Like... But it's not. Something's wrong with my footstep audio, right? Like, or it's invisible. I don't know, man. Okay. We're going to head over here. So an overpass looking Quincy Corey's. I mean, isn't it just in Quincy then, right? Isn't the 
Oh, we're past it. Looks Quincy Corey's. We're, we're heading right there. So we'll find out, I suppose. This is Quincy Corey's right here. So, I mean, we got some raiders here. We'll definitely deal with that. Frames are dropping, though. Just sneaky creepy along the way. And then we just got to stand still and hold a position. I mean, the, the overpass has got to be over there. I mean, I guess it's that one. I don't know which one we can get up. We'll have to figure that out. It's me. You stand still taking our shots. One shot in Raiders is an effective weapon here. Vats accuracy should be good because we got that increased Vats hit chance. We get, what, two shots in Vats, though, with my AP, which is pretty much maxed out. I have, like... My fucking frames, dude, are doing some crazy shit. I like fix all my shit, doc. I, I hate this. I, like, just hate these situations where I feel like I'm in the middle of a video and I like all my stuff's messed up. This gun is good, though. I have to be the one shot, though. My screen is completely black. Did it crash? Did my shit break? Hello? You guys, hold on a second, I guess. Alright, everybody, I'm kind of back. My game's doing some weird shit. Like, I don't I completely the black screen. I had to, like, I can quit the game at least, but I don't know what the fuck is happening to my shit. So this is, a, Quincy Corey's is this direction. This is the overpass. I don't think I can get up either side of this, necessarily. Like, I guess I can get a boy over there. This might be something I have to figure out, um, the long way. Um, I'm not very good at knowing this particular thing. Yeah, there's definitely, this is the Quincy Corey, guys. This is where my screen went black before. I don't know why my screen went black. I don't know if it's something to do with the scope or... Like, some other mod that I have on. This is the issues you deal with here. You see that person. There's your leg. You're dead still. Is there any way to get up on this from here? Like, because, like, this one's on Quincy, right? Like, you have to get into Quincy to get up onto this, right? There's no... Little elevator thing. There's a turret there. That's the one shot. That's a loud suppressed shot. I like. The, I love the sound of this gun. This gun is great. I don't want to distract my personal like covering mod issues as the the mod is bad. I think this gun is great. I think it's got all the customization you need. The best targeting modules and other things are very interesting and cool to use. Um, now here we are in the big Quincy though. Um, is there a way to get up this? No. This is a dead train. We gotta like. I gotta. I gotta go through Quincy. I guess. Um, I'm gonna show the weapon off in some more combat while we're doing that, though. Why not? Um, but we're gonna have to go through some nasty levels of combat. I mean, that was a nice hip fire shot. Still working just fine doing that. But I'm, I'm believing we have to get up here to find it. Just moving along slowly. I am trying to use the weapon like this. Well, this particular Sentinel version is designed, which is to be stealthy. We're, we're supposed to kind of be sneaking along here. We do have bats targeting. Um, and a penetrator perk. I gotta fucking fuck with my shit, though. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Everything broken. Hello there, everybody. Nice people. Everybody, we're nice here, right? Not really, though. They're not nice here. Quincy's a nasty spot. There's a frag mine there. Who's almost seeing me? You? Shoot him right in the head. Dead? Ooh, his head popped right off. Too violent for YouTube. Demonetized. I'm talking shit. It's probably okay. Okay, well, if you're going to see me, I'm just going to run now. I just shouldn't really run. I should stay in steel. Shots popping off all over the place. I mean, these gunners could have this exact same gun. Technically, well, not the exact one. That's the legendary. But... I mean, the damage reduction while standing still is going to be helpful. And even in an advance here, without the, uh, you know, full auto and a muzzle booster even, the fire rate's still pretty good. Maybe it's that perk that drops the cap that's fucking my shit up. Yeah, it's just... Punch me. I'm standing still. I'm practically not taking damage at all. Like, very little damage here. Okay. Are you sure you want to run up on me? Throwing grenades, huh? Just make sure when I'm getting shot at. Can't you? I'll live. I mean, a 50% is not that much. I won't live through the mini nuke, but... Stop shooting me with rockets, maybe, though, please? Rocket man? Stand still, you can't kill me. I mean, that's it is functionally good. It's still not gonna one shot. These Quincy Gunners are high level. I have gained karma. We're gonna cover that in a future video. I gotta make sure. I don't even have that many sim packs, to be fair. I had to restart a bunch of characters and do a bunch of things. My game has been getting so much. The next gen update has been just fucking god awful. 
And it might not even be on this side of the thing. You think it'd be overlooking Quincy Carries. It, it's got to be somewhere over here, right? You would think. An overpass overlook. I mean, it could be on the opposite side. Because this is Quincy Corey's. This is like, I would say that this is overlooking it on this side. If it's on the other side. It sucks. Because <laughs> right, this overpass is overlooking Quincy maybe more is what they considered there. I don't. I didn't see it over here too. Like, there's a lot of little shelves and stuff over here, but this is not overlooking the things, right? Like, I don't know, man. Uh, I'll, I'll cut out and I'll find it, see if I can find it, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, we're on the other side of the overpass now. There's a dog. I mean, the dogs aren't going to be shit. Yeah, very easy. Manage that problem is totally fine. If it's not on this other side, I don't know where it is though. I'm gonna put that energy out there. I'm not gonna keep looking for it any further than this. This is, seems like the obvious place where, you know, I would put it if we were using the descriptive language, the thing. But, like, the overpass, this is looking overlooking Quincy Corey, right? But uh, it's not very specific in that. It could be back here, I suppose. But, like, I don't know. I would use better language. Like, in, like, a small camp next to the, on the overpass, like, because it's not on the person here. It could, it could be on that other side, technically, too, in a bunch of loot. I'm just not... Like, super duper bothered by it. Like, I'm sure it's a cool legendary. I just wish it was, you know, and I'm sure you guys can figure it out. I know some people, like, even get in my comment section. They're like, why don't you show where the legendary is at? Why can't you fucking find them on your fucking own? And that's not time to be hostile. I'm a little bit hostile. I'm a little bit pissed off about how my game's running today. Um, but yeah, this is an overpass look overlooking Quincy Corey. We're up on that side. Didn't see it there. I don't really necessarily see it here. Like, I don't know, like, where you would even spot it in at. It'd be hard to find regardless, I think, right? Like, so much junk and garbage and stuff. Like, is it in the bush? No, it's probably not in the bush. I'm just talking shit at this point. I don't think, you know, the mod authors are allowed to put the gun where they put them. And if you really want to find it, you'll find it. Like, I don't, it's not my responsibility to show you. It's not part of the, the mod review. The mod review covers the gun. I think the gun is good. I wish I could find this other legendary variant, but I don't see it here. Um, they're still even fucking popping off over here. I clearly have to, like, you know, manage my loader a little bit, fix my mods for next week's fucking video, so I'm gonna call this one here. But I do think this bullpup scout rifle is a good weapon. Can't even see the people down there. They are there, though. Wait, aim down my scope. They're there. Like, you, this is where I'd put it, right? I would put the gun right here. This is an overpass. I'm blowing up people in Quincy Quarries over this shit. It's hard to see, because, like, they don't pop in until I look actually down the scope. I can't see them just looking. My accuracy sucks, apparently. Creep. That reload is really nice. The animations of this are really good. The attachments are good. Got everything that you possibly need. The VATS module or the flashlight or all the other things are kind of cool little choices you can make. Um, or the recon scope. Lots of long, long range sights, close range sights, semi-auto, automatic. Magazine sizes um, of different types and varieties and stuff. Maybe not the most hard-hitting thing in the world, but it's it does enough, right? Especially because you can make it full auto and stuff. It's a great gun. You guys, let me know what you think of the bullpup assault rifle, bullpup scout rifle. Not as you're not assaulting anything; you're scouting thing. That's the difference. Bullpup scout rifle down in the comment section down below. If you guys want to check out this model for yourselves, make sure, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda Dino page or the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Or it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.